Yes, I do. Yeah, when it comes up and uh, we see a lot of their, their advert on the road. It can help us make us better for any reason in a, in a developed country. Because when you look at it, you think them themselves, they are helping. They are not helping the masses. They are not doing it in our own benefit. Because if, if they want to do it in our own benefit, they're supposed to come to Nigerians, get Nigerians involved and interview so many Nigerians. Everybody will bring their own suggestion before making that, that attempt. But they did it on their own because that is what they are benefiting. Every citizen of Nigeria know the pains today. They can't just come, wake up overnight and advertise NNPC. The only thing that Nigeria hope on making a good revenue. Because the stealing eh, is too much. Even if they, they come say no on a private, now the same day we there for government, go see come colonize the whole issue. They chop the whole money by themselves and for themselves. Well, um, my personal turn is a very good uh, uh, transition. Personally, having, having studied some countries who have done the same and the impact that it's making to the citizen, I feel is the right idea. However, are we, are we prepared for this? Or is it the right time? Is my issue. Because ordinarily, I wouldn't want this to come at the eve of Secondly, there must be a careful study to see what, how do we uh, uh, bring the Nigerian factor into it. Nigerian factor in this context is like, do we have the right expertise? Do we have the uh, leaders with the right political will? So these are some of the issues. However, in the recent of it, the entirety of the, of the transition is a good one. One thing with Nigeria is that even though they privatize it, which we see the kind of politics. Okay, look, since they said they privatized the neighbor, they now by it to ESCM. We are, we are still facing the same problem. Privatizing it, uh, I don't know how this will be the solution to the problem. Unless if they will not use it for politics. Or unless if they will not use it to settle somebody. You know, what is that uh, when they tell you they privatize something? It's possible the person privatizing it is the person buying it. So that is the issue. As for me, as far as the privatization of NFPC is concerned, if it is to the betterment of our nation, if it will bring more development and more, more employment and make petrol available in Nigeria, I think there's nothing good about it. But at the same time, we must also look at the kind of persons involved in that company. Because uh, if it has to do with foreign people, that is where I condemn. But if it is indigenous persons like citizens that will still mind it, knowing fully well that if it is Nigerians that are in charge of the new NPC, they certainly will know about our problem. And so they will know that if it is on a higher side, their people will be at the losing side. But if it is on a low side, their people will surely benefit. Why not? Uh, they can't generate enough money. These people did not mean well for us here in Nigeria. You understand, but they know they no want any good thing to come for a common man. All what they their concern is uh, how to go Dubai and build a hotel, to pack our money, go uh, China and they build a hotel. If it's for their own comfort, so the whole money they are generating before, you know, do them. They bring a bunch of loot. You know, do them. They go to China, go borrow. You know, do them. So these people, are, they are just looters. They, they, are, they, they are just, I don't know. It is left for the youth now to rise up and do something and say something. Because the, the same people that is controlling this uh, petrol of a team are the same people who is going to go and watch. When they bring out the people that is going to to handle the private uh, petroleum, it is the same thing there. If not be then they could give their son 
all their in-law, all their relation to handle. So now the same thing they do the whole thing. Well, um, you see, in the real sense, when you are doing capitalization and commercialization of government enterprises, uh, well, to some extent you also deal with the liability and all the asset. In this case, uh, uh, do we, are we, if, if, if the issue of 30% derivation and then also the issue of um, uh, 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 NNPC, being uh, the shareholders of NNPC, what, what, what will determine whether there will be improved in revenue is if there are uh, 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 a kind of transparent way of doing things in terms of who are the shareholders. I do not want to believe that government can be a shareholder of a company because it's, giving, it's, it's like removing it from one hand and giving it to another hand. Can we have the shareholders known to us so that people can ask questions? Uh, is ordinary Nigerian like me, can I approach and say, okay, I want to buy shares in NNPC and will it be sold to you? What are the criteria? So that it should be a bidding issue. It should be the right people with the right expertise or with the right concept doing this.